What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Y'all know what day it is. Snap on Friday. So let's go. Unload that today. Uh, next week will be unloading it somewhere. We're gonna draw it at the end of next week. Shoot. That good in that shop in there. That would be pretty cool. We'd have to try it out every Friday. Get a, uh, I think it hold any size. I was looking at it the other day and it holds like three or four different sizes of kegs. Be nice. I have to get one of them, uh, was it CO2 tanks or whatever? Yeah. Uh, hey, was, somebody told me the other day, they checked and said you can buy the CO2 tanks for them just about anywhere. I know they get and go at ball when you can get kegs over there. He said he can order them. <laughs> uh, Indian guy up there. Was it five gallons of beer? Uh, I think it is. Five or six, one or the other. There's three different sizes, he said. That'd take a couple of nights to drink, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Depending on how rough the weight bands. That's what we need to do. We'll get that kegerator in there and we'll order us a keg. We'll get Trish up here and get her drinking real good and then we'll start daring, daring her to do stuff. <laughs> She'll be ready then. They have we more in her hands. We can handle her. So yeah. She won't have to worry about you know, pushing nobody in the pool. The pool. <laughs> she can get out of control be more than we can handle. That's it. Well, what new fun stuff you got? Well, I don't know about new. We just got a few little odd and end things in this week. Getting the, uh, just replacing some stuff. Try to think of anything actually new that ain't. You seen the the new lights that Snap-on come out with? The little folding lights? I think I seen some pictures of them. Are they might have been in the new catalog. Or the new, uh, looking. no, I ain't in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I seen which ones you was talking about the other day. Pretty cool looking. You ever sold any of them? The, uh, those battery... That battery charger that they have? That's on the back, I think. You ever sold one of them? These? Yeah. Yeah, I got one for myself that I use all the time. Uh, drug is fast. I know that. It's heavy. <laughs> <All that time. laughs> I like it because it's on wheels. Yeah, it's easy to move and they got big wheels. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you got trackers. You let your tractor sit long enough, a lot of times the battery's dead on them for some yeah. reason. They will never go dead until you go out there and start them up. Then all of a sudden they're dead. So. They, they dead every time you need them. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'd use it to jump start my tractor the other day. I'd jump start this other morning. Really? Yeah. I didn't plug it up the other weekend and forgot about it. Of course, then it was dead during the summer gun when uh, we're not to go get on it. I can't believe you ain't sold that other uh, 100 That's another one. Oh, that's another yeah, one? Yeah, that's another one. I got this one then this week. I don't sold. I haven't got any more quarters. I just had the one, but this is the third long neck 3 eighths I had in the past couple weeks. The red on this one, whoever done it, I think they got a little messy compared to some of the other ones that we got. But none of them come with a Friday. boot, though. Must have done that on Friday. <laughs> like, you got three more to do and you can go home. All right. Yeah, that's cool, though, that red and black and gray together. Yeah. Like I like it. I wish I'd outline this side with it, too, just around the... Yeah. Just don't match the other side. Snap on their half ass crap. You can't never tell you what's going to go on over there. <laughs> I just do what they can do. <laughs> they probably charge me $100 <laughs> to put that little red <laughs> pin strap on there. Yes, that'll get you in the next snap on tax bracket right there. <laughs> 
Well, have you heard the rumor? There's a guy sent me a message the other day, and uh, he said he read something on a, another page or comment or something that Hamilton's cut me off. I've repoed my box. I can't buy nothing on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that ain't true. I said I don't know where you read it at or where I, you heard it or whatever. I was like, That's not true. Well, it's hard to cut somebody off if they pay their bill every week on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's not true. I said actually I owe him money again because I bought that ratchet set. So. Yeah. Got you back I'm on back the, on you. the good side of the books now. So to <laughs> me owing you money. <laughs> I said that's not true. I said I promise. You. I said he didn't repo my damn box. And, uh, no, we can take it to the person that ended up buying it. So. They ain't too far up the road if they wanted to go ask them. <laughs> I said so. That is definitely not the not the case. Some people, though, just want to get stuff started and see what kind of reaction they got. People just by spreading rumors on stuff. I know. Man, I wish I knew as much about me as everybody else thinks they know about me. Yeah. No doubt. Be nice. Sure would. Probably a female, you know, somebody's wife. They'd know everything most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody what you said that time. You remember what, what you told me a long time ago about your wife and Google? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a shirt that says that uh, if Google don't know it, I ask my wife. She knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got to dig that out. I bet she don't throw that something in the garbage, I bet, on oh, her. Oh, man. Yeah, she's sneaky. I give my wife a hard time. That means <laughs> keep her on the toes. You can't never tell. Well, are you gonna get any of the hundredth anniversary torque wrenches in? I I hope I do. Them jokers. They are nice right there too. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I, I haven't seen any of the uh, three eighths ones on my list. I seen the half inch. Yeah. Just waiting on them to come in now. The um, which I got a half and three eighths digital of my own. But I wouldn't mind having, especially that 38 one. <clears throat> you were just buy everything in 100th anniversary. Yeah, I hear you there. Because you'll be the only one actually using it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is putting it up. Buying it to save it. Yeah. Like, you know, we'll spend $500 on that ratchet set, and then in 20 years it'll be worth like 250 Because everybody will be like, oh, that thing's 20 year old. <laughs> it's brand new, so got the plastic oh, yeah. on it. <laughs> they didn't come out with a 900 tooth ratchet by now. Hey, talking about something that's 20 years old. On Facebook earlier, I seen somebody had a the IM 3100 or 2100 snap on impact in the box, brand new. Said he bought it 20 years ago, still had the receipt in the box with it. And uh, he's like, Look at this, or it wasn't his, it was his daddy's. And uh, I'm not sure how he ended up with it for passing or whatnot, but other people's on there wanting to buy it from him. He's like, Man, that's one of the best impacts ever. It's like they're weak, but they, I mean, they still going out there. <laughs> That's like the MG seven twenty five. Yeah. When Snap on done away with that, it didn't take them long to realize. No, they, they figured yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, they brought them back pretty and fast. I hope if they do that with the they do that with the CT seven or eight sixty one. That's what the new number would be. If they do away with the rocker, like I, I hope they, that nobody buys them. Just so if they have to go back to the rocker. <clears throat> I hope you got like three of them that you can't give away. And that way, snap on and be like, you know what? We done screwed the pooch on this and hoss. <laughs> yeah, I still ain't pulling nothing up on that one. We, uh, we screwed the pooch. <laughs> we go the boys ain't going to go along with this. That's what uh, everybody I talk to, they, they want the rock one. And that'll be like if they ever do away with the 14-4 platform and change where the batteries don't work anymore and the different stuff. There'll be more riding and looting going on, but it'll be from snap on trucks then. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'll be driving down the road, big crap coming through the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, that'd be some old redneck drive through snap on corporate headquarters with a boatload of 14 four tools and just throw them on the floor and be like, here. As many 14 fours as I've done sold. Yeah, if they swapped that out, it's like, well, the new ones ain't going to change with the old stuff. I'd quit. I'd like call my hey, look, just come get the stuff and yeah, we'll figure out the details later on. Yeah. Going into hiding right now, though. <laughs> Be like spray painting over the snap on logo on the side of it so you can make it home without camo it out. <laughs> Redneck style. Oh, that's a, that looks like a bread truck. <laughs> they converted a snap on truck to a bread truck. <laughs> Why is it running 85 down the highway? <laughs> Be a bunch of Toyota pickups running behind you with beer cans flying out of the back of them. <laughs>
<laughs> then you snap on. <laughs> well, what other new stuff have y'all got coming in? Or of course, there's never any shortage of lights coming out with Snap-on. You know that. They always got new lights I coming out. Y'all have got me bad. I bet I bought $2,000 worth of dead gun lights with Snap-on. <laughs> Probably more than that. But they're all great, though. <laughs> Every one of them's great. Yeah, until the next one comes out, then, oh, that one ain't any good anymore. Yeah. I got the new one. I got to have the other one now. <laughs> <laughs> Let say, I bet there's some type of a deal on the light in here. What do you think? I well, right there. Oh, that is no good. That's been out for a long time. Yeah. That's like the fifth, fifth one. Back. Underhood light. My favorite underhood light is the 14-4 one, matter of fact. The big fluorescent one? Mm-hmm. That's a battery-eating son of a gun, though. Yeah, I Man, think it on high. You have three chargers with three batteries on it <laughs> before you turn that bad boy on. It'll suck some. Suck the juice suck out of it, huh? Out of there. Come on now, there gotta be another deal on a battery in here, something on the light somewhere or another. I don't think their little um, pencil and right angle screw guns like these have uh, so panned out as well as Snap On thought they was gonna do. My opinion is, I think the drills, now I've sold quite a bit of the right angle drills, yeah. I only sold one of the straight ones. I, don't, I just don't see the. Uh, I don't see the need in the straight one right there because I mean, if you're drilling a hole in a, I mean, in a hole that deep I don't want to be working on it anyway you know but the right angles you always can use the right angle in some tight spots right. I don't think they um, I don't think they worked out as well as Snap on and Hope no I, I agree and with that all the other stuff it's just too weak you know it's a little on the light side yeah like these is fine as far as power wise. Yeah. Now the one that's like that that's, but, that's shown up bad like that is the one that's like a CT761 without yeah. the clutch on it. Yeah, the CT761 QC. Man, you can drive some stuff home with that bad boy. Well, I use that when we're building porches and stuff running, I mean, three inch wood I screws use, through. I, I put lag bolts in on my yeah. deck with that like after I got the post set I put the I'm not a carpenter I don't know what you call it but like the band that goes around that you put your joist on yeah I was put lag bolts in with that joker I was like we, this thing is going to burn up I, <laughs> I show you what we did on one with mine on my equipment trailer I was pulling it through the bottom and caught a daggum stump they didn't even say it went over my truck but the back of the trailer caught it where it bent the whole back of it out yeah of course, we got it all straightened out. Well, when it bent it, all the boards on the dovetail fell out. And uh, so then I had to pull all the screws out. And everybody knows they use them big, long, yeah. big, thick screws. Two I think two. they tack weld them in there too, you know, because they don't like coming out. <laughs> well, I use my CT761 QC, the impact in nut driver, with this bit right here. And I think, well, I ain't even done it in here big enough. But whatever size it was, I think it was a 50 or a 45. Pulling them all out. Mm -hmm. It twisted this sucker all the way around. Holy cow. i bring it with me next week them and show it. Them jokers are strong, man. They really are. <coughs> they surprised me on this, on just that piece holding up, because a lot yeah. of times they don't. Most time they'll break. They snap they off right here. And it's not just, together. I mean, there's any all brands do that. They, uh, that's true. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I'll bring it with me next week because that thing, that surprised the crap. And I still use it all the time. You need to keep that one. That's yeah. A, that's a trooper right there. That's my wife. She, she told me, she's like, you need to use it the other direction, straighten them back out. I said, it'll probably break, man. <laughs> Go snapping off flying somewhere. Is it a snap on brand? Yeah. At least you can get warranty. Yeah, I mean, that should be no problem right there. I know somebody made a comment about, you know, all those bits I buy are snap on. Yeah. Almost every one of the straighteners are. Hell, I wouldn't pay because they're $10 a piece. Okay. Until Hell, I you, broke a bunch of them. Remember, I came in here yeah. one day with a handful of them. And just swap them all out. No big deal. That's like the uh, old tire depth gauges right here. A lot of people don't like buying them because yeah. you can get them online for like a dollar a piece. Mm -hmm. Ours is seven or eight bucks, but the lifetime warranties. Yeah, and you know, they're like, well, you can go to the hardware store and buy one of them bits for a dollar fifty a piece. Okay. So you break six of them. And you already lose the money then. And I know I'll probably, 
I don't broke know. way more than six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I never broke them in automotive stuff. I always broke them on junk at home, you know. Yep. When I put all them boards in my cow trailer, I broke a couple of them then. And I think when I did my big deck on my back, I ain't never broke them working on stuff that I was supposed to be working on with it. The automotives. <laughs> the <laughs> automotive screws and the plastics, tough to get out be broken. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the next one, someone you break this work and taking a dash out. They're like, uh, yeah. Well, that was like a guy was telling me he bought a snap-on trim removal tool. You know the, the yeah, instinct the, handle with right the, there, right above your head, right? Up. Yeah, that's that's the same one. Let me get my camera up there. That's it, right there. Yeah. Said that he broke one of them. I was like. Phew. Buddy, I ain't tell you, you were pulling no trim. No, he ain't. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about it didn't hold up, it was cheap made, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, you were pulling trim off of that. Well, I, t I had one, the same one right there. A fella brought it onto the truck one time, wanted to get it warranted. Well, he brought it up here, and the handle was busted, and the piece of metal was sticking out the end of it. And I was like, What did he hit it with a hammer? Yeah. And I said, What happened to it? And he's like, I ain't a lie. I hit it with a hammer. I said, you ain't, I mean, you can lie it if you want to. I know what happened to it. I, mean, I just want to ask, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. So I warranty that one out, but I'm not going to warranty another one of them. Not for, not on the trim piece, so, you know? Yeah. And, uh, well, the next guy, I was sitting on top of the toolbox. The next guy come on the truck, and hell, he ended up buying it. He's like, man, that'd be great. It's shorter, fitting tighter spots. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was warrantying it out. I said, but. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna buy, he said, I won't buy that. I said, work. I said, all right, dude, here you go. We was talking about pry bar handles the other night, and uh, I said that, you know, I bought the new style pry bars. This one. And uh, I don't like the handles, though. I like the old style. The square handle ones. You know, the old style, I like them better. Like with these, that style handle. Yep. Yeah, I like them better. And, uh, I was really surprised. There was a lot of people. They felt the same way. They said, "I don't yeah. like the new ones either. I like the old style better." Yeah, I mean, we hear that pretty good bit, and I wish that they would give you the option on, or give us the option to have them both, because yeah. I mean, you can get these style screwdrivers still. Mm. I'm looking to order them, and uh, I don't know. I just don't like. It's mainly those funky little dimples. Where's that? It. Right here. I don't like. Yeah, I ain't sure. I mean, it's for your thumb, obviously. No, the, but. the ones that's on the actual handle. Like them, wait, it's got these cut out. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I that's for. I don't like that. It ain't no extra grip because it's dipped in. Mm -hmm. If it's dipped out, I could say grip, but it might just be mud grip. Tractor tire grip, it looks like. <laughs> I think I just tried to do something where it wouldn't look plain. But yeah. <laughs> I, like the, uh, I like the old square style better. I ain't sure what the thumb hose is for because I ain't never grabbed a pry bar like this. If I'm, I'll <laughs> grab hold of them to push or pull one or the other. Yeah, that's true. And keep your head out the way so if you pull them back this way. <laughs> Reckon how many people's hit their stuff in the mouth with stuff couple, like pull it on. Couple thousand, I imagine. <laughs> Unless you pull them with this one, you might not. Yeah. yeah you probably be all right with that one. That's not much bigger than the pocket, the shirt style pocket size ones. <laughs> <laughs> you put a uh, clip on that and wear it in your pocket. <laughs> and good day, a stream light clip off the Stinger lights put on there. Yeah. That'd be somebody do that now and be like, look. If we get a picture of that, somebody's going to send me a picture in the next week or two. Look, I did what you said on there. <laughs> if they do that, you need to send them a shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll get all kinds of pictures out. I'll get my shirt. <laughs> nope, we already gave away the shirt. <laughs> All the tub of tiles, man. That's what I'm talking about. Finally, somebody's got them in stock. They might, they're hard to come by man. right now. I guess I've done too much advertising for tub of tiles because you can't buy, you can't buy one of them in Bungle right now. Walmart's out. Well, I know somebody. Apple's out. AutoZone's out. O'Reilly's are out. Yep. With well, they, uh, I talked with the tub of tile lady, and she said right now is just supply and demand. And one thing is, is whatever is made out of the cloth. Is the same. Is the Lysol wipes? Is that and the face mask. Of course, oh. everybody knows with the face mask. Yeah. God forbid you go somewhere and you don't have your damn face mask on. Well, I'm proud you got them because I think I've got two tubs, three tubs left. Yeah. You know. Got that. And then 
This brand new one? Yeah. This is my personal one up here we try stuff with. Or, there you go. I know they, I bought a bag of them. They got a plastic bag that's got individual ones. Yeah. In four. So they don't dry out. I ordered some of them after I seen yours and Dude, I still ain't got them yet. That is the best investment I made for my personal truck, my wife's truck. Of course, all of our vehicles, I put like, there's only like 50 in that bag. So I put like five or six in each truck. Yeah. Man, that's so nice. Then my pickup truck, I threw a, a bottle of them or one of these. I don't know what you call it. Tub. Yeah, tub. Look it. Yeah. Look it. Well, it says right on the front, tub. <laughs> I threw a tub in the tow box of my truck because. It pop open? Yeah. It, or the whole top popped off of it. Look, I don't. It couldn't been off very long because they was all still soaking wet and stuff. So well, what I do in my service truck, here's another little fun tip that I'll teach on. I take a piece of duct tape and I put it on there where it's like this, and I fold the top over. I go all the way around it because that top, if you squeeze that joker or something falls on it, it will pop that top off. So I take duct tape and I put it like right there, go all the way around it so it won't come off. Of course, this ain't gonna pop off. No, that's the hard the to get lid off is not gonna come off this part. But most of the time, what happens? Something will fall on it. It'll yep. boop, It'll shoot that bad boy off. I pretty much did the same thing, but going around it, I just took three pieces and from here down, yeah, just to hold it. I use that gorilla tape all the time, and I run it all the way around the lid of it. Hope you ain't gotta get back in it because you ain't getting that stuff off of it. And if you pull them from the inside when you start it a lot of people want to start these things they want, when you open it up they want to grab the, over here because there's always the outside edge it's always got one sticking up and the inside's always hard to find it but if you always pull it in the middle they'll always pull out one at a time you know not knot up and rip off I, I thought that's how you're supposed to start from the inside ain't it yeah yeah that's yeah. how i've always done it but a lot of people say they they would pull one out and up they get stuck and so you got to pull them from the inside don't pull them from the outside edge yeah and now, when you, always work when you pull them out, of course, sometimes they rip off on their own. Sometimes you got to pull them off. Mm -hmm. More times than not, you have to separate them yourself. But, yeah. but it's not that hard to separate the daggone towels. But I don't know how many. I, I've used thousands and thousands of them things. Well, I, I've always used the snap on ones until, like I said, this is the last one that I got. And I still use these on the truck, too. I ain't got many of them left. I ain't no telling how many of them buckets I had. I wish I'd have kept them all. Yeah, I know you've been you've been using them for three, four years. Yeah, I think as long as I've been coming out here, I think. You I actually back when I first started trucking, when I first got my very first truck, that Peterbilt's got those rubber floors. It's got the grooves in them. Yeah. And man, that's what I clean my floors and seats and sleeper curtains. I mean everything. I'd like to get whatever the liquid is I use on it. Of course, in you're a not, spray bottle. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Could you imagine if they made a spray bottle of that with a just a, a medium stiff brush? Yeah. Shh. But yeah, if they made that liquid where you could put it in a spray bottle. Well, just think about. Man, like, they would put every other cleaner out of business for that. Well, it I mean, would. Look at like uh, tires if you pick up washer trucks and stuff. A lot of times that getting the tire back to the shine part of it is hard without having to spray it with oil. Or the armor, or whatever the crap they put on them. But then, if you got a white truck like mine, then it slings black stuff over inside your vehicle. So I don't spray that stuff on mine. Yeah. I mean, my truck been washed have twice. Have you walked? Have you walked one of your tires or one of them yet? No. Oh, you got to try it. Well, then I have to wash the whole truck, so I don't. No, just wipe the tire with it. Just, just, a <laughs> just a little spot. Just give it a little taste. Yeah. You don't I have to end up doing all four of them. Man. I ordered some aluminum stuff, aluminum cleaner, the other day offline. And my wife, she had, she's like, why, why do you even order that for your wheels? Because you're not going to wash it. I'm like, you're probably right about that. But I'm thinking about it. Yeah, if I ever decide to, I'll have it. It's the thought that matters like a gift. I mean, it's the thought that matters. You know? <laughs> if I ever decide to clean it up, I've yeah. got it. The, the only excuse now is when I can get my son to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay him. He ain't going to volunteer to do it. You wash my truck, dick? No, how much you going to pay Well, you can tell him, say, you might get that truck if you take now, that's care of it. That's already his goal. He wants to. Get it, put a lift kit on it, and bigger tires. He ain't tires. squat it, is he? No. <laughs> There's a boy that goes to the school. My son runs cross country. One of the boys that on cross country train got a squatted truck. It's two wheel drive. It ain't even four wheel drive. It's two wheel drive. Just the rear end that was squatted. My son asked him if his boyfriend liked that. 
He's he's rough. <laughs> Well, you ain't got to worry about If he buys a lift kit, he's putting both ends on there. Yeah. That's good. I think yeah. he should, too. He, he rough on all of them. And you don't want to be at the red light with your window down if you're in the squad of the truck. He'll roll the window down. He'll let you have it. I, <laughs> I think all the boys with the squatted <laughs> trucks used to that. By yeah, now. <laughs> I, th I mean... Like, I even make comments, like, when we go to Walmart, there's one kid getting out of a Tahoe, and his was bad, like, really bad squatted. And I said, man, did your daddy not have enough money to buy the, the, <laughs> enough to lift up the back end, too? He said, no, oh, man, he didn't. Like, he didn't even get mad about it. And, like, and I thought, now, you've been teased that enough much. when it gets to that point that you're like, no, man, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> there was a boy up at Murphy Brothers that he had one like that, and he ended up selling the vehicle because they gave him so much hell. They told him, he's like, look, you're going to have to sell the truck or quit one or the other because you can't keep parking in the parking lot up here. So. <laughs> Make him park across the road. <laughs> he ended up selling the truck. <laughs> that's, that's bad. Up that there, is man. bad. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get off here and uh, get back to work. I got some. Stuff in there I gotta take care of. You know. So y'all have a good weekend. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. Y'all don't drink too many cold beers if y'all live down here in the south. Hope you got an umbrella, some boots, something. So if you go outside, six inches of rain tomorrow, ain't it? Yep. Alright guys, y'all have a great one. Like always, if you like a video, hit that thumbs up. Over here for merchandise, cool tools and discount codes and click button right there. Just click it and you'll be subscribed. Y'all have a great one. See you next time.